you know what else they do? When she's telling you she's going on a girl's night out, what she'll do is she'll meet up with her girls. They'll pay, they'll take pictures together or they'll do boomerangs or they'll put it on their snap story. But then she'll go and stay the whole night or stay part of the night with a whole nother man. Have a good day, y'all. So listen, this is a good one. A lot of ladies know what goes on. A lot of you ladies, you know what your girlfriends are up to. You know what's happening. You know who they're dealing with. You know when they're in a relationship, you you smile and laugh and uh, in the boyfriend's face or the husband's face. And you know darn well what's going on on Girls Night Out. Now, I'm not saying that it doesn't, like, you can't have a Girls Night Out and not do anything. But for the most part, a lot of women are going there for a reason. Women like attention, Right. Women like attention. Women like to be liked. Women like to be wanted. Women like to be seen. Women like to be shown off. And a lot of times this is a woman's chance to basically live it up. Especially if she's been chatting with a dude and, um, you know, that's her way to get out and have an excuse and may spend some of the time taking those photos, as she said, because I got a story time for you guys uh, for sure. And do her thing and then spend the time with him, get her cheeks clapped and go on, go on back home to you or back home. So for example, this has happened, you know, well, I found out a couple times, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where I know it, I, I, I found out after the fact and then I got hip to it and that's why I like this time, you know, I just keep it cordial in situations. So the most recent one, I'm gonna tell you about this story. So um, I was, this was my girlfriend at the time and we were we were we were talking and I kind of knew she was just like I'm going out and she was going out with a younger chick this younger friend of hers and they were going out to a club and I already sensed the energy and sometimes you can just tell the energy right and um I had she went out and she was out after a certain amount of, if a woman's out after a certain amount of time and she doesn't, you know, bother. She doesn't call you and say, hey, I'm headed home or to check in with you to say I'm headed home and things like that. Then, yeah, that she's going to do that. She doesn't answer your call. She comes up with an excuse. You hear her talking in the bathroom when she's talking. This is what's going down. There's another dude or she stepped out or whatever. So this this night in particular, she went out with this with this young lady. And uh, I didn't either something either she. She called me or I just sent her a text. I forgot how it went. We ended up texting and um, she was like, she's about to go home. And I'm like, oh, I thought you were gonna come by here. She was like, I can come by there. So she came by like much later on. It was probably like 2.30, 3 o'clock. And when she came home, oh, she came, she came over to my house. She just kind of like just got into bed and went to sleep. Normally when women are out drinking or whatever or out partying, they want to they, they come back and they just want to climb, you know, and get it. When, you know, because I kind of knew her for the day, that was kind of like what she would do. She would, you know, if she if she'd been drinking or whatever, she would come home and try to get busy. So in my mind, I'm like, this bitch already got fucked. You know what I'm saying? And she started mentioning other stuff that was kind of irrelevant. Like when she when she came in and I was like, this is very interesting. You know what I'm saying? So um, I was like, you don't want to do nothing? This is kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? And she was just like, oh, you think I, I was like, I'm just saying. You, you're not trying to do nothing and you're sitting here like just going straight to sleep and you you were about to go home like what's, what's really happening you know what I mean so I found that to be strange so the next morning you know we ended up and this is before my awakening we ended up arguing you know what I'm saying so I was like something's something's up or whatever so I had an extra phone <laughs> And I'm telling y'all this. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. I'm keeping it funky. I had an extra phone. Her door to her, her vehicle unlocked. So I took the extra phone. 
put the recorder on, I put it in the back seat, and when she left, you know, um, she went home or wherever she went, and I came and collected it later in the back, you know, the back seat. I'm listening to the recording. She calls up a dude right after, um, right after she leaves my house, right? Because we had just gotten into like uh, we had just gotten into it. She calls up this dude. She starts talking. This is a, one of her ex boyfriends. She starts talking trash about me, talking shit about me, about you know he's arguing with me this and that, and you know I met this guy in the club, this younger guy, and. You know, we were going back and forth and he was asking me if I had a boyfriend and I said, yeah, but I'm not. That's not what we're in the club. We're not in the club to discuss boyfriends. That's that's not proper club etiquette. And she's saying all this stuff. Right. And I'm just listening to her say this stuff about me. Right. And she's like, um, you know, talking back and forth and, you know, saying these different things. And then um, I didn't get to the part because she had already gotten home. Like when on the recording, she had already gotten home and she took the conversation inside. So my, obviously my phone was still in the car. So there was nothing to be, I couldn't hear like what the rest of it or what, what went down. So it was, it was strange all in all. So ultimately I ended up confronting her about it. And she's basically just blew me off. She's indifferent. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> She, she tried to lie about it at first. And then she was like, oh, you know, you must have, um, you know, did something with my phone. You must have not did something with my phone. You must have put a recorder or you must have been recording me or something. And she was just like, I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck out of here. So I was like, OK, next uh, later that night, she comes knocking on my door, begging or uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Begging and crying and all this stuff. So I made her get on her knees and fix it, even though in my mind it wasn't fixed. I made her think it was fixed. Cause that's the type of time I was on, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, from then on, I just, I just learned to keep it cordial. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you guys really need to do with a lot of these women that want to go out or have these girls night out. Cause unless you really, you can say I can trust a woman, but you can't put anything past a woman, especially when a woman, she's not going out there and just turning dudes down and just doing all this stuff like that. She's, she's actively talking to guys. She's actively seeing what's happening. She's actively giving out her Instagram phone number, all these other things. And that's just how it is. Women, that's how women are. Women have always been like that. It's very rare that you come across a woman that's going to sit there and just say, I have a husband and not for the right guy. She's going to talk to him. But some women just go out just to flirt. Or to get fucked because it's a one-time thing. Girls trips go out, get fucked because this that's a one one and done thing, and then she'll just come back home to you. And some women don't have any, and they'll play victim. Some women have, you know, no problems doing these things, no problems laying next to you at night after she just hopped off a dick. Fellas, I want you to know this. You know what I'm saying? It's just the nature of it. It, it, you could be married. You could be whatever. It's just the nature of it. You could have a woman head over heels. You know what I'm saying? In a moment, no matter how far gone you have or how much in love she is with you, in a moment, she could do that. In a moment of madness and anger, because it's all emotional with women. It's all emotional. So I don't know, man. Uh... <laughs> It's it's stuff like this that goes on, man. And some people say a woman, she's completely done with you if she's willing to do that. You know, some some aren't. It's just part of their nature. And I'm just here to tell you. Hey, but let me know one of you guys stories below, man. You know, comment below, like, share, comment and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one on one with yours. Truly purchase all my books, merch, T-shirts and uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok if you haven't yet. And uh, stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen. And that's where I'm going to see you guys at. This is Wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's true beat maker. And I don't know. I will put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth. Them